practice field. The facility had been in existence since the early 90s. And over time, the ground underneath it had resettled and it had created some really dangerous swales that if you were running along at full speed, you're liable to step in one of those swales and really injure yourself. And if we were to continue using the field, we had to repair it. We really had no choice. And it would be an expensive proposition. We heard of this uh, grant through the NFL Grassroots Foundation and we applied for it and we already have a long-standing uh, relationship with the Chicago Bears. They've been a great partner for us. We became uh, clients of Bears Care probably about eight years ago. They asked if there were anything that they might be able to do. They would like to get involved with us. They would like to uh, strengthen their presence on the south side and they encouraged us to go off, go after the grant. Uh, they certainly backed our bid. They wrote a very strong letter about our involvement in the community and our intention to make this a community resource. And uh, we had some of our friends from the Greater Auburn Gresham Development Corporation behind us. We had Father Flager behind us. We had Alderman David Moore from the 17th Ward behind us. And with that level of uh, cooperation, uh, we were approved. We're gonna make it a community resource as well. We're organizing a flag football league for uh, grammar school kids from the area. We offer it as a uh, recreation facility for residents of Sabina's Elders Village, which is just west of us on 79th Street, as well as uh, residents of the St. Leo Veterans Home over at 78th and Emerald. They'll be able to come over and walk and get some exercise in a nice, nice safe space. And um, it's all in keeping with our desire and our determination to be a real good neighbor here in Auburn Gresham and be involved in this community the best way we can. We've been here for 96 years. School opened in 1926. We like to be known as good neighbors.